Damn, looks like fast and furious out here. We got Vanessa, Mia, and Giselle the slut. What is up guys? Right now, we're about to go look at some parts for the S13. I'm mainly going because he has a cluster and my cluster is sort of fucked up. So, apparently the cluster, his cluster, everything works. So, hoping it does because my cluster lights don't work for one. So at night I can't see shit. I don't know how fast I'm going, RPMs, all that shit. Temperature gauge doesn't work, but that might not be the cluster's fault. We'll, we will find out. But then like little shit here and there doesn't work. So the gas gas gauge doesn't work. But again, might not be the cluster. So we'll uh we'll go pick up the cluster. The main reason for me is the lights. That's what I want. So let's fucking let's go dude. Alright, we got it guys. We got it. We got it. I'm gonna take the stickers off and install it tomorrow when it's not nighttime but this is a single cam so instead of you can see that it's it goes by you know 10 20 30 40 single cams go 15 25 35 and then the red line is at 6100 the red line is at 69 oh, fucker, dude. the red line on the dual cams is at 69 Pretty much seven. That's about the only difference, really. Um, I was, apparently this is plug and play, so we'll we shall see. But I'm 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 really really excited because this has this has the plastic right there and this plastic shit my cluster so with my cluster I could touch everything I could be going but yeah and this for the trip meter it fucking broke and the clock doesn't work either for some reason it did when I got the car it doesn't now so hopefully hopefully this works and uh, the guy is pretty much, he's parting out his old S13. And he has some other stuff that I might be interested in, like e-brake lines. So we'll see how this goes. And then I'll try to fix my current e-brake. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just get e-brake lines from him. And we'll fucking, we'll be, we'll be good. All right guys, so next day, we're gonna get this bitch installed. God, I hope this works. Mainly the lights, and then I'll figure out what to do with with this guy. I hope this works too. But then again, like it doesn't matter because I go off of this at like around 250-ish. I just get gas. Uh, that doesn't matter. This will be nice that it's not fucking broken. It'd be nice if the clock worked too. But yeah, we'll get we'll get it get her in. Okay, so for some weird reason, when you install a 240 cluster, it's different. You have to take a bunch of shit out. Like in here, we have to take out so much just to get the cluster out. We have to drop the steering column. We have to take the bezel off. And then we can get to the cluster. So let's, uh, let's begin.
All right, guys, update. It's out. It's a fucking bitch. I had to take so much apart just to get it out. Fuck, dude, fuck this cluster. There's no fucking plastic or anything, so you could fucking touch all the gauges and shit. So we'll fucking get that, get out of there. Okay, well actually I need it. Yeah. I've got to transfer the, the LEDs in it. This one, and I think this one too, yeah. Uh, this one as well. This one. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. All right, guys. So little problem. I hooked up the cluster, and this happens. So those lights work. When I start the car up, these aren't working at all. This doesn't. I actually don't know if the speedometer works yet. It might because I mean the car's not moving so it might work when it's driving but at the same time I don't know and the cluster lights don't fucking work. They don't turn on. I've tried plugging in this little shit, this, the fucking, to adjust it, nothing happens. So I got the, like the gauge light dimmer and brightener shit that's not doing anything this cluster both connections are plugged in all the way so I don't really know what's wrong which sucks so yeah got got some problems to figure out but if you notice I took the steering wheel off I did that so I could get more room and I'm gonna fix it so it's not gonna be crooked. I don't know if you noticed that in my videos. My steering wheel has never been the right way. So now it will be. All right, so fucking found out. Uh, problem's worse than I thought. <laughs> Which sucks, because I bought a cluster for nothing. Take so, or the sort of, sort of, we'll see. But, so, my 240 doesn't have a radio anyways, but there at one point there was an aftermarket radio. The wiring and shit still there. So when they put that in, they did it wrong and it fried this little box that all the fuses and shit go into. And then they fucking disperse and shit and go where they're supposed to go. Well, it fucked up the part that goes to the dash lights. So... I guess that's a common problem with 240s when the dash light doesn't work, that's what happened. That's what the forums are saying, and that's what I have to go by as much as I really don't want to. There's nothing else out there that gives me any information on this sort of thing. So I have to either fix it, which honestly is probably my best option. I have to either fix it or get a new one. And like if I go down to a dealer, it's gonna be way too much. It's gonna be so much fucking money. And like, there's no 240s at junkyards or on OfferUp or LetGo. Like, I may be able to find it on OfferUp or LetGo, but like, there's so, there's like barely anything for, for S13s anyways on there. There's a fuck ton of shit for S14s, you lucky fuckers. <laughs> S13s don't get anything. And they're like the ones that most people want, which is fucking, I don't know, but Yipperino, so for now, I'm gonna fix my steering wheel I'm gonna install the old cluster so at least my revs work so I can see where the engine's at and be good there And then I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that little white box I just want to sell my car right now. Save all this money, sell my car.
right, so after a long, stressful, irritating, in reinstalling the shit that I took off, fucking done. Fucking donezo. I, uh, I mean, I fixed the wheel, so that's, that's good. But, like, the cluster was the main thing, because I don't have fucking cluster lights. But, that little fucking box, we're fucking installed. The aftermarket fucking radio is fucking dumbass. That's some fucking bullshit that I have to deal with now. It's like when they torched, uh, when they torched his springs. And he had to get new struts too, because it fucking blew the struts too. Fucking dumbasses. And then we gotta fix shit the right way. And no one seems to want to do shit the right way anymore. Fucking just take a little extra time, spend a little bit more money, and just do it the right way. It's fucking you'll it, things will be so much easier down the road. But yeah, so now I'm gonna go on a little drive, make sure everything's working with the cluster and shit. Make sure the wheel still works the, the way it's it is right now looks like it will all right guys so finished the steering wheel got that done unfortunately the cluster <sighs> bigger problems bigger problems <sighs> fuck dude i don't know what i'm gonna do i really don't like i have an idea but at the same time uh, like I could just make, I could just mount little LEDs like here and there <laughs> to light it up and that would work fine, but it just sucks, it really sucks. But steering wheel is straight now, so that's, that is good, I'm fucking tired, it's late, I need to edit, so please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.